Hello friends, in this video, let's see about numeric data type in detail. The numeric data type is the most commonly used data type and this numeric data type has many representations among them. The frequently used representations are integer representation and floating and double numeric representation. So if we place the numeric control on the front panel, it will also get added on the block diagram screen. This numeric control on the block diagram screen is in orange color because this numeric control is in floating and double numeric data type. And this can hold both positive and negative floating values. I am entering positive decimal value in it. And again I am placing a numeric control and in this control I am giving negative decimal value. And again I am placing a numeric control and I am changing its representation from floating and double numeric to integer so that this numeric control will become integer numeric control. Just by doing a right click on this numeric control and under representation if I select I32 this will change into integer type numeric control. So we can see that the numeric control block on the block diagram screen has turned from orange to blue. And now if we try to enter values in this control, we cannot enter decimal values. That is, this control cannot hold decimal values. We can enter only positive and negative integers in it. To show this, I am again placing a numeric control similarly. And also I am changing its representation as I32. So that this control will also change to integer type numeric control. In this control, I am giving the negative value of the same integer given in the previous control. Now I am arranging all these controls in a column and to perform an arithmetic function with the values in these controls I am selecting a common arithmetic function from numeric and placing it on the block diagram screen. This common arithmetic function has all the arithmetic functions in it and here we have to select the required arithmetic function which has to be performed. And also we can increase the number of input terminals of this common arithmetic function just by extending it as much as we need. And then I am connecting all these controls to the input terminal of this common arithmetic function. And on its output terminal we shall connect an indicator. So by default this indicator is named as result. And now we have to run this program. While the program is executing, we are getting 0 as output in this result indicator. And next, I am again placing a numeric control and giving some other representation. I am changing the representation as U32, that is unsigned integer. So, in this numeric control, we can give only non-negative integer values, that is we cannot enter negative integers. So I am just entering 1, 2, 3. And then again I am placing a numeric control. And I am changing its representation as complex. All the three representation on the last row are used for giving complex values. Here I am selecting complex extended. As we all know complex representations contain both real and imaginary values. So in this control I am entering 100 plus 100i. And now I am arranging these two controls and I am increasing the number of input terminals of this compound arithmetic function just by extending it. And then I am connecting the terminals of these two controls as input to the compound arithmetic function. And now if we run this program, we can see the output on this indicator as 1, 2, 3. That is we are getting only the real value and we are not getting the imaginary part in the indicator as output. So we have to change the representation of this indicator also as complex extended. And now if we run this program, I am getting the output with the imaginary part. So in this video, we have seen about numeric data type. And in our next video, we can continue with another topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support. Thank you.